turned to owl. Um, <laughs> I know I keep talking about cleaning up, but I'm not gonna make, really make an effort today. I'm not gonna try to video at all. I'm just gonna video spots here and there because uh, I don't want my videos to be longer than 20, 25 minutes. Um, you start getting up to 45 minutes an hour, some of, these, some of my subscribers, uh, they're like me, they fall asleep or they don't have time to watch an hour video, stuff like that. And what I do, don't really want an hour unless I'm really into something. Um, or I can take an hour and bust it up into two, two parts. But I'm going to show just a little bit of what I'm doing in here and then I'll come back an hour later and show a little bit more. And that way it won't be long drawn out. And I'll try not, I, my trouble is I start running my mouth just like I'm doing now and I just start rattling on. Um, that's just my nature. But, uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Um, and one thing I want to say that over the past two or three days I've learned something that some people think when they put something on their YouTube channel and they get into a squabble or something about something or disagreement and then they'll tell a subscriber and I had this person do this I ain't even gonna call her name because they're already getting more attention about it than they deserve but uh, told them, at, just flat out asked me who the hell are you and it's none of your business but let me tell you something folks if you got a YouTube channel and you go after you try to get subscribers, you solicit for subscribers and you get subscribers, you put something on your YouTube video and they're watching, it's their business. It's automatically their business. And if you don't understand that, then you need to, you need to find something else to do. Because, anyway, that's the end of that. And I am going to start straightening up. I'm trying to get everything moved in here. I'm really kicking around debating on whether to, um, there's a storage unit 1.3 miles from here. Yeah. Yeah, 1.3, 1.5, something like that. And, uh, I'm debating on starting to use that thing for storage. It's going to cost me $68 a month. But the best thing about it, the bulk of my crap that's sitting around for everybody to see, uh, I need to be storing it over the stores and just doing my scrapping here, you know, as far as taking things apart and stuff like that. My copper and, and my brass and uh, stuff like that. But I'm debating on whether to do that or not. Um, I, I don't know in the next day or two. I'm going to talk to my daughter about it. But, uh, and it's only a 10 by 10. But I can... I can get a lot of my scrap, my shred and stuff in there, and uh, my bigger stuff, and maybe once, once a month, uh, 
Well, I don't know. I ain't got that far on thinking. But anyway, that's something on my mind. And we'll be back. So, bye for now. Okay. Uh, I pull out. I just read a comment. And they said these things right here, when you get them to that, they're such a pain in the ass to take apart to get the copper off. Well, they ain't a pain in the ass. I need some keys. And you can have some keys. Let me turn this off. I ain't wasting batteries. As I said, these are not a pain in the ass to take apart. They're, they're, it's so darn simple um, that, I mean, uh, just watch. I ain't going to say much, but just watch. Hoping that's showing up. It's a lot of mess. Now these little pieces of that black stuff there, that is scrap metal and that goes in your shred. No, so I used to throw it away till I realized it was some kind of metal. Get a lot of trash off of this. But I notice too that uh, there's some other little copper burn pieces on here, like that right there. It's like a little uh, green board, but I'm going to put my glasses on. Now these things are so easy. And if you have your tools with you, when you're out picking up along the curb and you see one, you don't want to bring the whole TV with you. But see that? That's, uh, there's copper on these spools here. Plus this can be thrown in your green boards. Um, but, uh, as you can see, all that's, I like to pull that tape off. I really don't know why that tape's on there, but most of them have that on them. Uh, now, I always, as pieces come loose, I just cut them loose. Now that's got that black shit in there, and sometimes I used to unwind it like that. If it comes off easy, I do. If it doesn't, I lay it over like that and bust that thing apart like, like that there. And there's some more of that tape. I'll take it off. I'm going to save all the luck copper and weigh it when I get it off. But the black stuff, like I said, goes in, in the shred. Um, this thing here, that's stainless steel. Was that a pain in the ass? Of course it ain't off of that black yet, but it's going to be. Oh. Uh, I 
I'm telling you right now, if it's a pain in the ass, I love it. I'm going to take that tape off. Now, that, them, there's them two pieces. Very nice. Bright. It's not even dirty. Like that there. Now, here's some more, I guess, people's going to say is a pain in the ass. But you just watch. Tell me, that's a pain in the ass. Hell, that's a... That's a good pain in the ass. I guess, am I cussing? Is that... Is ass cussing? I don't know. I don't think it is. It might used to be. I remember getting spankings over saying that when I was a kid. Uh, there's that little pile. Let me weigh this right here. Now this goes in your shred. I'm gonna say I already throw some of that in. Well, wait a minute. Went too quick. Went too quick. Now. Four ounces. So that means another four layer. Plus what I already strode in the thing. I hear some here. I'm going to bet you probably it's close to a pound of, of uh, Be a little aggravating at times to throw it off. I'll get that later. Alright. There's all that copper now. Now you tell me, was that a pain in the ass? No, it won't. Matter of fact, this is like, this is like Prozac or something to me. It calms me down. And let's see what that weighs. About two ounces shy of a pound. 
Ah, like that. Put that in there. Now, also, there's these little things here uh, that are copper bearing. And they're very easy to take off. What have I got my knife here? Very easy to take off. Now, some, if you want, you can cut it off with one cut of the razor knife or the box opener. Or you can do this number here. Sometimes it, it don't take too long, but I can do it. Just to show you. It just... Now there again, folks. This is not my livelihood. My livelihood is my government check every month. That's what keeps the roof over my head and food on my table. Um, and after all that, I only have like a hundred and sixty or seventy dollars left for anything else I want to do. Uh, so anything I make on this is just cream on the top, so to speak. And uh, my arm gets tired now. I used to could whip them off pretty damn quick. But anyway, I'm going to do this in just the sake of showing you. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> Let me cut that. But you get the idea. But it's not really, it's not a pain in the butt. It's, it takes a little time, sort of, you know. There's two of them on there. And if you don't want to take time to peel that copper off, you can throw that in with your electric motors. If, if you're not going to strip the motors, you can throw that in with your electric motors. That'll go as copper-bearing motors. Uh, this piece here uh, will go in your green board. I want a piece of shred. But this, also, if you want to throw that in your motors, it would go as, as copper burn motor. Wow, look at the magnet. That it on that thing. Let me take the... Now this... It's easier, little trick I learned on these spools, it's not really a trick, it's just, if you think about it, it just works, works better. Find you something that you can stick in that hole. Why is that not going through there? Well gee, what is in there? I can take a nail. Either. Well, anyway, you can see there that's copper burn. That can go in the 
copper burn mode, or you spin a time to peel that copper off, and I'm going to put, take the copper off. Oh, uh, there's one, of course that goes in with the green board. And I don't have a buyer for my green board yet, but I'm going to find one. And I'm going to have a pile up, but I think them people that buy that green board like that, they want you to have uh, a minimum of a hundred pounds. I don't know what the reason is behind that, but I guess there's going to be some kind of reason. But anyway, let me... I think I need to... Maybe post a reminder about what my channel... My channel's not like major scrapper. I would love to be a major scrapper, but my age, 77, and currently with no vehicle of my own, and when I go out and pick stuff up, I have to use my daughter's car. And, uh, but I look at it this way. My my channel mainly, I'm just showing you people uh, my struggles that I'm having at my age and not making, planning ahead like I should have done. I went through a small fortune and, um, and, and now I'm paying the, I'm paying the price, but it's a struggle for me to get up and just sit around and not have anything to do. And that's why I'm doing this. It keeps me busy. Um, and if I can show you stuff in the process, you know, that, that uh, I'm doing that may help you do something um anyway uh, what made me get on that was I read a comment a while ago and he was the guy's looking forward to me doing something that I said yesterday that I was going to do today but I'm not going to do it today uh, other stuff come up and I have to uh, I'm trying to get my mess cleaned up. I'm trying to make up my mind about whether I only need to rent a storage unit. I got to come with some kind of arrangement with my daughter where if she'll guarantee me that she won't kick on me going out at least three times a week picking up small scrap uh, with a car. I can get by. I can do the smaller stuff in here, but the bigger stuff, I, instead of letting it accumulate outside, I keep packing it up inside the storage unit till I got a load. Then, I don't know how I'm going to get it hauled in, because I don't like to go to the scrapyard unless I got a couple thousand pounds of scrap. I seen somebody the other day on one of my channels that I watch. <laughs> he he went in there with 140, was it 142? Yeah, 140 something pounds of scrap, and he got a whopping two dollars and forty-two cents for that. <laughs> But he, he, I just, I just can't do that, man. I got, when I go, I want, I want to see a hundred plus rolling out of that payout machine. Uh, at least that. But anyway, uh, I'll figure out something about how I'm going to haul stuff. And I, and I may, as bad as I hate, 
car payments and an old truck payment or something, I may just get a truck and make payments. But if I do that, boy, I'm got I'm gonna have to hit it hard, hot and heavy to keep the payments made and keep going. I'm kicking that around too, cause I, you know, I don't know how long it take me to save up to get a vehicle. But anyway, let me show you this one more thing here, which is part of that TV. Well, that piece I just took apart was the copper out of it. Now this is the board and uh, everything out of that TV, and I'm gonna pop that apart. Uh, also, a lot of people think that's a pain in the butt, but not really, not really, just time consuming. I'm going to need my screw. Now, there's... There's a lot of pieces to this, and if you've never done it before, it might look it might look confusing. But it's not really. Right now I'm whacking off little wires and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna put my glasses on them. Have... Where's my glasses? There they are. Hatchet laying on. Oh boy, I just had that. There it is. There it is. Now, what's on this board is a little transformer. Bunch of little copper bearing uh, pieces, aluminum heat sinks, I sure miss my sister-in-law left on Monday evening. I sure miss her. A lot of this stuff will turn off. I'm pretty sure there's copper in that. I don't think I ever took one apart before, but another little green board there. Another little green board of some sort.
kind of light green board. And that's plastic. I'm thinking that might be some kind of brass. I'll look at it closer later. See this better what's on there. There them's easy to get the copper. A lot of people see them they try to unwind them. But I got a trick for that. Oh. Get this wire off. Now, a lot of this stuff that's on here, I'm hoping you can see that. I take my channel locks and I, I, I break stuff off Transformer, copper bearing. That also you can strip the copper if you want to, or you can throw that in with your electric motor stuff. Um, this thing right here. I'm hoping you can see that it's got it's copper spools. Very easy to unwind them. Very easy. And that black stuff around that, that is, you can go on your shred, they buy it as metal. I'll pick that up later. But you can see, and it's heavy. But you can see these these things will unwind. Well, I got two started there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little screwdriver, and I'm gonna stick in there like that, and then I'm gonna do this number. And that'll completely unwind that thing. I hope you're seeing that. And look at there. All off. And look at here. Just look at this bright copper. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's nice stuff. You don't have to ball it up like this, but it's a lot easier to handle than stringing out all over the place. And that's why most people you see will wrap it up. And there you go. That's off of that, those two little spools. And the coffee bin. Oh, uh, now, I do these uh, heat sinks, same way. Sometimes they can be a little aggravated, especially one like this, this little thin piece. It's not extruded, but it, it's aluminum. There you go. Now that's 
aluminum. This little thing right there, that's a transformer. And that will go in your, um, you can strip them if you want to. Or you can put it in your little motor pile. That goes in there. Now, this heat sink here shouldn't be as hard to get off. These things usually have a little thing like that on the back and you can unscrew it and it'll come off. Where's my regular flyer? I don't even see that. I can use that. Now I'll do a final cleaning on that, but for the sake of time I'm just going to go ahead and rip the rest of this stuff off of there. I hope this is making sense. Anyway, I've been told that there is copper in this. I don't know. I don't know. There's now there's copper here. I'll say that can go in your electric motors too, or you can unwind the copper off of it. Um, now the biggest transformer on here is this little jewel rod here. stubborn if you want to buddy but I got your match right here well I thought I did that going to crap That's got copper all through there, plus that scrap metal, that's copper around that. Um, I will, I'd throw that in the motor, electric motor pile or I'd strip it for copper. These big ones I definitely will strip for the copper. Um, this piece here. I've been told this thing right here's got copper in it. I don't know if it does or not. I ain't gonna fool with it right now. I know there's copper in I don't know, you know, well hell I'm sitting here, I might as well check it out. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Look at them little rounds of copper. So there's copper there. Now let's see, is there copper on that one? in that. I'll lay that there for right now. But I think you're getting the idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, it 
foot hurt to wear gloves. I'm hard headed like that. I won't do it. Oh. I'm hard headed. I never knew what a diode was, and somebody told me the other day I was doing some of this, and they said, oh, that's a diode. No value. That's what they told me. But, at any rate, more aluminum. This here would go in the grain boards. I'm not, right there's a piece, I'm pretty sure there's going to be copper around that. I'm pretty sure. Where'd it go? Let's take that apart. Yeah, there. No, that's not the... Well, where's my knife? copper in there. It ain't that stringy. Well, it's stringy, but it ain't the real fine stuff. Um, you can see that there. So that go right there. Um, these, I'm not, I'm not going further on this board. I've showed you what I want to show you. There's more aluminum on there. But I'll take care of that later. I'm told that these chips like this has value. I don't know. I really don't know. But these circles like this that people see the pain in that, they want to try to unwind it strand by strand. And if you'll just take that thing, lay it on something solid. Like so, and look at that, it just, and that's good heavy, good heavy copper, it's kind of stiff, but that's what I want to show you, see, you break them things apart, and this also can go in your shred. But I want you to see that. And that was on that board. Um, what else was I just want to show you? Yeah, it's gone. I can't think of it. Maybe I showed you everything I want to show you. I guess I did. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, some people think my videos are too long. I'm going to try to keep them around 20 to 30 minutes from now on. And be right over that. And I'm going to make a part one and part two. Oh, now I'm tired.